Hello and welcome back to Grow and Glow channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to grow uh, hot, hot chilies or hot peppers. Uh, I'm going to grow them from the fruit uh, so uh, they're not dried out. So if you have fruit or you can get fruit, uh, uh, you're going to dissect the fruit and take the seeds from it and sow them fresh not even sometimes I leave them for a day but for the purpose of this video I am going to sow them directly into the soil uh, and some and maybe with a bit of placenta in it as well so the one we're going to use today is uh, most people will know this one this one is called Carolina Reaper and it's considered the hottest chili in the world but it depending on where you get them from when you're handling hot chilies, you, you really should wear gloves because uh, it can pierce into the slightest one. And that's not the worst thing, but if you actually get it on your fingers and you put it on your eye, and uh, it will sting like hell. Uh, how do I know this? Because I've done it several times. And no matter how many things. But you wear gloves. If you can get surgical gloves, probably better. But I use these ones. These are my chili gloves. So when you get your gloves on you, these are uh, this uh, uh, try and get one <laughs> the right size. These are a bit big for me. Uh, my my hands would be size medium, not size uh, large. These are large. Uh, There's number nine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll pick out. You pick out what you think is the best fruit. They're probably about maybe thirty or maybe more uh, uh, seeds in them. So what I do is I use the scissors and 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 I use a couple of skewers and I. What I'll do is I cut the, try and cut it down the center and then break it open. And then you will see we have lots of seeds here around the placenta. And no, there wouldn't be that many in this. There's probably, well, there's more than 20 in it. So what you can do is you can pull them off like this and then use your skewers afterwards. I will do a second one as well, I think. They're a bit, uh, yeah, there's probably 20 something seeds in it. So I'll do two of them. I'll then try and get the seeds off and you will use your skewers then to uh, separate them. Okay, so when you have your seeds uh, on, on, your, on your napkin there, uh, uh, then you're going to sew them. You can take your gloves off at this stage. You can use a, a, a plastic tweezers if you have one. Now you can you can do this two different ways. You can you can w water the soil for first or water the soil. I'm using uh, four inch pots. Uh, you can water the soil uh, afterwards after you from the bottom though. Don't pour the water onto the top of them. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, normally I will wet the soil first but it's a little bit messier so what we're going to do we're going to make a hole down about a quarter of an inch or a little bit less than a quarter is actually ideal I find uh, maybe five millimeters or something like that and we make a little hole now if you have lots of seeds you can put two seeds in each of them if you put two seeds in each don't grow them in the same place grow them to one side I'll just put one in these but I will put two in the other ones if I have the seeds left over, if you don't have enough pots. Uh, but the main thing is, if you put two seeds in, so you just drop the seed in like this. Okay. okay. It's, they may be sticky, so have a little bit of a skewer ready. It might stick to the, to the tweezers. If you're ambidextrous, you can do it with your left hand. And... Uh, so you just put one seed in and you cover it in and then you get the water on it. Now over here we grow, we grow hot peppers all year round. In the US, in most parts of the US, they cannot grow them all year round because of the, they can only grow them, they'll grow them indoors in the beginning. But if you're growing them indoors and you have fruit, you get fresh fruit, uh, I, would, I wouldn't bother drying them out. The only reason you dry them out is if you're going to give them to somebody. Now, I'm, not, I'm touching this, but I'm not touching the seed. So I will just get this then and uh, I will pour some water on it. And then I let the water soak in. So I'm going to fill this tray up. And I'm going to put it down on the ground here and leave it for a few minutes. And when it seeps up to the top, I don't, you can cover them afterwards if you're, if you're in not such good climate. Uh, 
not such a warm climate and that or not such humid climate uh, you would you could cover these with plastic on the top I've done that in the past but I find there's no need to do it hi here in this time of uh, m m nearly any time of the year over here so I will sow the rest of them and uh, and then I will come back to you in a second and uh, we will I'll come back to you in a few seconds and hopefully they will we will have most of them will have grown it's been two weeks just at, well it's actually been 13 days since uh, we sowed these seeds of the Carolina Reaper, the fresh seeds. Uh, they, they came up, some of them came up actually uh, t seven or eight days, but they're not, they didn't come as fast as ones, I sowed ones with dried seeds, uh, well, albeit a different variety. Uh, and they came up quicker, so, so I, I sowed yellow habanero on the same day as I sowed these, and unbelievable, the, the, the yellow habanero uh, came out, uh, came, came, uh, grew much quicker. And there were dry seeds, and the habanero came up quicker. Actually, some of them, some of them uh, actually sprouted in three days, um, uh, which I never had before one or two of them three days and the rest of them came within uh, maybe uh, less than a week extremely fast uh, i wouldn't expect that everywhere it's just the, the the there was good humidity there's nice humidity here a nice warmth and it's warm and we kept them in the shade we put them in the sun now when they when they not full sun we'll give them half half of the day sun uh, when they have got their true leaves. These have true leaves on them. These have not, this one is coming with true, true leaves here. You can see the true leaves. The coitions are uh, here, the outside ones. They're not the true leaves. Today is exactly uh, five weeks since I sowed the seeds for these Carolina Reapers. And, and uh, I'd done some uh, ghost, yellow ghost, uh, but uh, Jolikia, uh, that's are these ones. These are a bit, these uh, Botulica are a bit, uh, I think they need a little bit of nitrogen. Uh, I only fertilized these once and that was about f four or five days ago and uh, they were only, they were just over four weeks since the seeds. They are coming on huge, especially not, not the ones I sowed in the videos, the ones I sowed after the video which are in these uh, cheaper black pots, the reusable pots as well. These are growing like, this is five inches high yeah, that's five inches high. So uh, I'm going to have to sow some of them and I don't have a lot of, uh, normally you will put them into, into uh, five gallon pots and uh, I don't have a lot of five gallon pots. I have a few, four and three. I'll put them in, you can re-sow them again or you can keep them in the pots and, 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 and the smaller pot if you want to or you can sow them in the garden if you want to but I don't. So we're going to, I'm going to, trans, I'm, if their roots are not out in the bottom like these small ones, I'm not going to transplant them yet. They're, they're fine for another two weeks, I think. They're just growing a little bit slower. Sometimes that happens. Uh, maybe the soil was a bit better that I put into these ones. But they were, these are all from the same fruit, the same fruit that I showed you. So I just water, I just water this in before I take it out of the pot. And I make a hole here like this. Just a cavity. Now I'm using compost that just comes from the mountain, right? So it's uh, it's not processed, and uh, some of the farmers there they have this as a sideline. They they sell compost. Yeah, there's some roots out in this now, so it's time to plant it in. And I don't worry too much. I let it down a bit and make sure you don't uh, the soil goes uh, oh, uh, doesn't touch the leaves. And that nice little tamp in. I don't be too fussy about this at all, so because I have a lot of them to do. If you're going to be really fussy, you can if you have lots of time and you're only doing a small amount. But if you're going to do a hundred uh, chilies or hot peppers, uh, so you would water that in then as well. I'm going to put it on the floor to water it in because uh, I don't want the water coming down on top of me. Like, I'll come back to you in about three weeks time and that'll be eight weeks or maybe three and a half weeks and that'll be two months and then we will see how what stage they are at then and uh, it's been 58 days since uh, I saw this it's uh, it's been very hot here we've moved these in that they're only getting a little bit of sun in the morning we bring them in and out because of the the heat like there's, there's not a cloud in the sky and it's 35 degrees Celsius 
Uh, they're coming on okay. There's a few little, I noticed there's some, I'm going to spray them now with some neem oil. There's some little aphids on it. The reason we always know, a few of them are failures. That happens with us over here with the heat and we get over it, we move them away. Uh, there might be flies on them or there's ants on, if there's ants on them, then there must be aphids. Sometimes the ants, uh, they, they are, the, the ants are, har are farmers. So the ants farm them and keep them alive. And then, uh, but uh, we're going to spray them with neem oil because we, well, we nearly always only use neem oil for spraying. If it gets really bad, we will have to use something uh, not so natural. Uh, so we'll be back to you hopefully in a I'm not top any of these yet. And uh, normally I will top some of them, but I didn't top any yet. I might top some before the next video. I'll be back to you in a few minutes. So, uh, so I'm back here again now. We were really struggle here because it was really, really hot. You should see, I have it in under a, 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 I have it under a gazebo. Uh, because uh, it was just too hot. Uh, we had flower drop. They are not as good as I expected now. It, it, it is 90 days today or 90 days tomorrow since we sowed the seed. It's very quick, yeah, but uh, yeah, we, the flowers are holding now. So uh, all of them, not all of them have flowers, uh, big bunches. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed on this one because uh, uh, just the first few flowers, heat stress, I think, and then maybe we water them at the wrong time of the day. But uh, no, if we get, if, if half of these flowers come into fruit, I will have lots and lots of nice chilies. I will be back to you in a second uh, if they fruit. <laughs> oh, thank God the sun is after going in behind the cloud for a couple of seconds. Uh, it's been piping out here today. There's a little cloud, the sun up there. It's uh, 35 degrees Celsius and it's, all, it's already uh, October, near the end of October. Uh, yes. My Carolina Reapers, I had many problems with them the last time I showed you. Uh, they weren't getting enough sun. Now they're getting enough sun, but we had uh, what's called habagat, and some of them got salty water on them and they died. But we got, we, we've harvested them a few times, and uh, they, some of them, there's one down there that's turned out yellow. I don't know what happened there, but uh, they, they're mostly good. I will show you, this is, uh, nice ones here these ones have nice tails on them as well like a Carolina Reaper should uh, I, yeah I'm not going to eat it on camera I ate one yesterday and I'm just in an awful state after but uh, but I'll go and I'll cut one and I'll show you up close what they look like there's plenty of green ones down here and uh, they're not ripe yet and some more up here on the top and there's lots of green ones here that are uh, nice, nice, real Carolina Reaper. This is not such a big tail. This one is more of a tail. Was this one ripe? Mm, not quite. This one at the back is ripe. So uh, I can show you what, this is what they look like. The very same as what we sold. It's not perfect, that one. It's a bit small on the small side. So this one is a bigger one. And uh, no, what would I do different? Yes, I would do a lot of different things. First of all, the biggest mistake I made was keeping it in the shade. I know we have to try and avoid the heat, but chilies need a lot of sun, and we only get 12 hours sun. We get it all year round, but we only get 12 hours of it. Uh, so to stop the heat, I can come, I can come up with, a, I done used a shading cloth before for that, to stop the heat. And uh, so this is uh, my, uh, this is the end of the video and uh, if this is the end of the video and uh, if you like this uh, video or any of our other videos here on Grow and Low, uh, please subscribe.